Governors across the country are urging people in their states to take COVID-19 seriously this 4th of July weekend. They point to the Memorial Day holiday as reason to worry after cases spiked in the weeks after. 13 Action News anchor Jackie Kostek is looking at the numbers and spoke to leaders here in Nevada who are calling for safety. Jackie. Well, Trisha, ever since Memorial Day weekend, COVID-19 cases here in Nevada have been on a steady climb, and many people are now concerned about what our state could look like two weeks from now as we head into what could be another busy holiday weekend. I firmly believe the most patriotic thing we can do to celebrate this 4th of July is to wear our face coverings. Nevada State Senator Ivana Cancela joining a chorus of leaders, including Governor Steve Sislak, pleading with Nevadans to prioritize the health and safety of themselves and others this holiday weekend. Please, please, I beg of you, don't get into large groups. Do not get into an area where you can't be social distanced. Now is the time to be cautious and thoughtful about how you decide to spend your time outside of your home if you do leave your home. The urgent pleas come as the state records its second highest number of daily cases since the pandemic began, nearly 1,000. The record was set just last week. Since Memorial Day weekend, hospitalizations have also been on a steady climb, now nearing the numbers Nevada saw at its peak in mid-April. As we head into another holiday weekend, Cancela says now is the time to act responsibly for yourself, your community, and the economy. Moving backwards is not an option, and it's where we will end up if folks don't do their part. Now, of course, we know this by now, but health experts agree that the best way to curb the spread of the virus is to practice social distancing, wear that face mask, and wash your hands as often as possible. Reporting live, Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News.